that so he gets a certain amount weighed out every day but it's a pelleted diet in the wild he'd eat grains he'd eat you know leaves and grains and grasses and then fruits and stuff so I'll top that with some fruit and veggie also for the emu my name is Sharon Dale and my title here at the aviary is the avian training and program manager so essentially I'm in, jo I'm in charge of all of the training of all the education birds as well as uh, training all the people how to do the birds write the shows teach everyone how to do the shows stuff like that those make him a great hopper. So what we're going to do right now is we are going to see if you, Jacob, can hop as fast as a Taraco. You want to do that with us? All right, I'm going to pass Campbell. The bird show itself, our education department's mission, is um, to inspire inspire, create connections, and foster appreciation for the diversity and magnificent of birds through education and entertainment. That's why we're here. We want to inspire people and get people to appreciate wildlife so that they stop doing stuff to the environment. I mean, so that we realize that Utah has got one of the major wetlands that's left. And then what do we want to do? We want to build a highway through it. What's going to happen to the millions of wildlife? gone. We are their connection. Utah is the connection. If we can't inspire people, if we can't get people to appreciate these animals, no one's ever going to do anything. That's what we're here for. I don't like to admit that I have favorites. I do have some favorites. I don't have like a favorite. I mean, I've got 37 birds, but I hand raised our kookaburra. I hand raised the barn owl. So I really... I really am attached to them quite a bit. We have a black vulture that I've been with since I started my career 14 years ago. So you get attached to all of them when you work so closely with them all the time. They're like a working dog would be, you know, like if you have a seeing eye dog. It's, they're not quite pets, but you really bond to them. Trying to simulate life when it's not real, is in, it's very difficult. Uh, for example, a vulture, rips at things. That's its natural behavior. It's just going to always be ripping at things. So we find things that can simulate that. It doesn't matter that it's not a big dead deer. As long as they, they're doing that behavior, that stimulates the brain and it mimics that whole behavior for them and that's healthy. Yes. Hi sweetie. No, 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 don't jump. All animals have a role in nature. Every single animal has a job to do, and every single person that works here at Tracy Aviary and at most zoos I talk to wish that every one of their animals wasn't there. We wish, I wish cats could be flying free. I think it's a wonderful thing to be able to help animals that we as human beings are the ones that are injuring them in the first place. Um, cats was injured by flying into a barbed wire fence. So a man-made object just about ripped their wing completely off. They had to amputate it. But if they are here, then we have a responsibility. You're okay, sweetie. There you go. We have a responsibility to give them the best life they can have. And in, in that same vein, she's getting a little stressed, which means I'm going to put her away where she's comfortable. Again, that's part of my responsibility, make sure she goes where she's comfortable. So I'm going to put her back. Um, if you come around this way and I open the door, you can watch him as he'll take the box. So, and he's really precise with his beak, so I can, um, I've got a bunch of worms for him too. I can scatter them out and he'll pick each one up with that little beak and just toss it back. And then when I give him his whole food, he'll shake it. I don't know what had me fall in love with the birds. I just never realized how individual they were, how much personality each one had, how every given bird was different, the diversity among birds. And just as I started to work with them, I just fell in love with the whole class of animals. I was always into big cats and I always thought birds are nothing and they're all these little twerpy things. And when I was working with eagles, I mean I worked with you know 30 bald eagles and golden eagles and hawks and falcons and they're just amazing creatures and I just fell in love with them. And I never went back. I never even thought twice about going back to cats after that. Well, I guess if 
that's I don't know it's something that you I guess live with um, I wish there was a lot of things America could see about American Indians you know I wish they could open their eyes and realize we're here and we're a part of, of this country we've been here for I don't for hundreds of years and there's things that are sacred to us to us and I wish I don't know if that'll ever happen. Someday I hope it does. We'll see. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> you can look at her, it's okay. Wow. They cry for some reason. Uh -huh. It's wonderful.